Hello everyone, welcome back to FFG Live. My name is Evan Johnson, and I'm joined here today by our fine Arkham Horror the Card Game developers and designers, Matt Newman and Jeremy Zorn. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm here. Good, good. So we are here today, uh, as you have no doubt guessed from the title and from any, <laughs> you know, uh, promotional things that you saw that told you to come to this stream, that we are going to play The Innsmouth Conspiracy, which is the brand new deluxe expansion. Not brand, brand new. It's been out for, I think, a week or two. That's two pretty weeks grand. Or so. Yeah, it's pretty it's, grand. It's the newest product, yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> it's not like it came out today or anything, <laughs> but, uh, but we're very excited. It is the start of the sixth cycle, right? Six. Yeah. Sixth oh my cycle. Goodness, is it really the seventh, sixth? seventh campaign, I guess. <gasps> yes, uh, the sixth cycle, seventh campaign. Yeah, for yeah. Arkham Horror the Card Game, which is super cool. Uh, we we did a stream when we announced it and kind of talked about you know what people can expect from this cycle. You know, it's got kind of a, a much more um, fractured narrative with like mm. flashbacks, and you know you're not quite sure what's going on. And we'll we'll get into a little bit of that here as we as we start playing and start reading uh, some flavor text and stuff. But yeah, so today we're just gonna we're just gonna play through this first scenario here. We're all playing new investigators from mm -hmm. the expansion and uh you know we'll see how we do if we get blessed or cursed <laughs> <laughs> uh, get cursed because i put <laughs> cursed cards in my deck <laughs> <laughs> um so i am playing silas marsh who uh you may have already played actually if you got the uh mm. his book which the title escapes me now but it's the deep gate the deep gate yes, yes exactly but i'm playing standard silas with the the harpoon and the net nice. that he comes with in the uh in the pack who have you got uh i'm playing my favorite trish scarborough the yeah. spy mm -hmm. she is uh i built a deck that's very clue getty and very evasive very slippery and lots of curse cards because slippery I like enjoy making you like fish yes <laughs> slippery like a fish <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jeremy? I'm playing Dexter Drake. He also had a novella. Mm -hmm. but like Evan, I'm playing just the uh, base cards in the uh, deluxe box. So Nice. Very exciting. One of my favorites. Yeah. All right, so we'll uh, let's uh, read some read some story here. Yes. Uh, last warning: if you have not played this yet, we're yes, only going to play the first scenario. <laughs> only the first scenario, but we are going to spoil all of it. So, be ye warned. All right, scenario one, the pit of despair. The pit of despair. This pit of despair. <laughs> Your eyes flutter open with the languor of one who has slept for days on end. Your senses are in no hurry to return. You blink and struggle to see through the inky black surrounding you. Every inch of you aches with dull, throbbing pain. Your skin is cold and numb, and your clothes are waterlogged. Your mind swims with half-articulated thoughts and tangled memories. You have no idea where you are or how you got here. Sounds like a good old time we're having. You snap to attention, heart racing in your chest. You lie on a jagged stone floor in a shallow pool of dark, ice-cold water. Knowing panic will only make the situation worse, you take a series of deep, meditative breaths. You try to remember something, anything, that might allow you to retrace your steps, but your mind is blank. You remember who you are, but nothing whatsoever from the recent past. You steady yourself and examine your surroundings. The chamber appears to be a natural cave formation. Kelp dangles from the ceiling. The stone walls and floor are wet and slimy. A rhythmic drip, drip, drip echoes through the otherwise silent cave. This cavern has been underwater and not too long ago. A result of the tides, perhaps? You swallow your fear like a lump of cold iron. If it is low tide now, a cold shudder ripples up your spine. You examine the ceiling and are surprised to see a slab of metal set into the rough stone overhead. Its polished surface is alien to the rest of the natural cavern. You call out for help, hoping somebody can hear. Your dread deepens at the reply, an awful croaking and gurgling that permeates the tunnels, a sound no human could make. Not good. We are in trouble. <laughs> All right. uh, we got this. <laughs> yeah, 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 we got this. You say that now. <laughs> All right, so we have our agenda awakening. A salmon lies dead on the ground nearby. So if anyone wants a snack yeah, before we that's begin. Good. That's good to know. A nice <laughs> I am nice detail. Who wrote this? <laughs> it's scaly flesh just starting to rot. You can tell from the kelp and the dripping wet walls that this cavern was underwater not too long ago. How much time do you have before high tide? Forced. When your turn begins, if you are at a fully flooded location, you struggle for air. When your turn ends, if you did not enter an unflooded or partially flooded location during your turn, take five direct damage. 
So the flood tokens are something, if you have not been paying attention to the, the marketing surrounding this game or, or the previews and whatnot, the flood tokens are something new uh, where locations can become partially flooded or fully flooded. And if we are in one of those uh, fully flooded locations, then we have to get out, otherwise we Otherwise will. you drown. Otherwise we drown. Drowning is bad. Yep. This is actually the first time I've held one of these in my hand. Wow. <laughs> This is a this is yeah, a, this is a key I was, I was like, wow. in your life. <laughs> uh, act one, the pit. You have awakened in a waterlogged cavern, your mind robbed of its memories, and you are not alone. Whatever else lives in this cavern, it can't possibly be friendly. Friendly, you have to get out of this place and back to civilization. We need nine clues to advance. These other two people in the cavern with me are friendly, though, right? Yep. You guys are not evil. I mean, you're the one who slimy like a fish. What? So. No, I'm slippery. I'm not slimy. <laughs> slimy like a fish. All right, give me that unfamiliar chamber already. I mean, I am. I am also not putting my shirt on despite being in a cavern. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You are Silas. It's kind of a rule. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the unfamiliar chamber says three branching tunnels open before you, mm. each swathed in darkness. A foul odor like that of decaying fish permeates the tunnels. Mm. And on the back side, it says there's three clues here. Uh, after unfamiliar chamber is revealed, randomly choose one of the set uh, one of the set aside face down keys and place it on the unfamiliar chamber without looking at it. Uh, so Jeremy, if you could do the honors, so one of the one of the face down keys at random. So we don't know which key that is. Yeah, the explain key. explain how keys yeah. work. For yeah, so watching. there's there's a bunch of key tokens in this expansion. There's seven mm -hmm. of them. This scenario only uses five of the seven. Mm -hmm. um, when if they're on a location and you get all the clues at that location, you can take the key and you can also pass the key to other people. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. If it's on an enemy and you defeat that enemy, you can take the key. And then the keys don't do anything on their own. They're just used to open up new paths or to um, trigger certain uh, story sequences, and the cards will tell you how that works. Okay. So that key is important to us, but we just don't know how yet. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. The scenario guide also tells you what the different color keys represent. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to read I'll, that I'll, now, I'll read it when yeah. we pick it up. Yes, yes perfect, exactly. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. All right. So if we get those three clues, we can pick up that key and then we can flip it over and see what it is. Yes. And so the as you may have noticed, the the adjacency rules for the scenario are a little bit different. You're just adjacent to what is uh, orthogonally yes. next to you. Yeah. Um, That's true. So we can move to all of these tunnels. All right. So I drew my opening hand, but I'm going to mulligan. Uh, these three cards. You, d you didn't do your mulligan yet. I know. I'm the worst. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who's uh, our lead? Yeah. Who is our lead? It's mm. probably you. It's always you. I guess that, that is typically how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to like venture off into the tunnels, or maybe I'll just do some setup here. Just leave already? Before. Well, I, I'm not. I'm not a clue getter. I need to like... Find some deep ones to harpoon or something. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna first action draw a card. Okay, all right. I'm gonna second action draw another card. All right, all right. I may have put too many skills in this deck. <laughs> no um, such thing. Yep. All skills. All I'm day gonna long. third action. Uh, I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go see what's around here. Yeah. Uh, on this tidal tunnel, we find an underground river. Underground river cannot be fully flooded. That's good. After it's revealed, increase its flood level. So it has six clues. Victory one. It is partially flooded. Oh yeah, can you put it over here? Oh yes. There you go. There's the underground river. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of clues there, and it's victory mm -hmm. one. Um, but uh, it uh, it starts off partially flooded, but it can never be fully flooded. Yeah, is that gonna is that gonna bite me if I hang no. around there? And it's no, you're partially <laughs> flooded. It can't be fully flooded, so you're you're safe from drowning here. Well, it's actually, yeah, but it's yeah. actually like the the one safe location. <laughs> all right, all right, I feel safe here. Yeah. So from here, then I can only move back to the main uh, unfamiliar chamber, correct? Since yes. it is uh, yeah. adjacent. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right, that is my action. That was three. All right. Um, go ahead. I'll go. Uh, so first action, I'm going to take a resource, and then second action, I'm going to play my good old friend Leo DeLuca, yeah. the Louisiana Lion, and um, I want to play these other cards, but now I'm broke, so I guess I'll, uh, I am actually just going to take resources, because mm -hmm. that's just how I do. Mm -hmm. It's fine, it's the early game, we don't have yeah. to do anything right now. There's nothing going on yeah. yet. There's no enemies. All right, I will first action play David Renfield. Oh. 
Good thing a real wizard has showed up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not this, this conjurer of cheap tricks. <laughs> uh, I've got plenty of time, so I'll use him at a doom. To him or to, to him? To, okay. Yes, to him. Get a resource. It begins. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just in case we get some fellow or other deep ones shown up here. Let's fellow? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something I should know? No, that means fine. Okay. Play yeah. shriveling. Sure. And... I think he might be a deep one. <laughs> Let's... We'll be lucky if we're not all deep ones <laughs> by the time this is done. <laughs> Go explore. It'll be fine. No. Okay. I'll stand by you so I can protect you, Trish. Oh, sure. <laughs> so you can protect me. Yep. I see right through you. Okay. Um... All right. Well, why are, there's no traitor element in this scenario. Why are we at each other's throats? I mean, <laughs> there's always a traitor right, everybody element. Everybody gets yeah. a card and a resource. Yes. Woo. And we got a doom on the agenda. Got it. And you some, go first with the cards. Some bad cards. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Here we go. A young deep one. Something for me to, we go. to fight. After he engages, you take one horror. Ah. You show the card. That is pretty bad for you. Yeah, let's let's show oh, the young yes. deep one. This is uh, it, it, this guy's actually from the core set. He hasn't been seen in a long time. I know. Yeah. Possibility to show up in uh, the Amordoth scenario. Right? <laughs> that's right. But, yeah. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. But now he's back. Here's right. another enemy from the core set. Oh. Which one is it? Oh, it's like knows good old is. rats. Yeah. If you don't know this card, then where have you been? Good old rats. Hit. Yeah. All right. And I get. Undertow. Uh, so if your location is unflooded, it gains surge. Otherwise, it does stuff. My location is unflooded, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna not bother with the rest of that text. Mm -hmm. And instead, I get a lurking deep one. Ooh. Uh, so he's similar to the young deep one. After he engages, I take a damage. Uh, so actually, we got like the the two. Uh, can I get a damage? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, we got two of the guys who just it, do stuff when they engage. Yeah, um, nasty deep And the ones. bad news is, this one's four evade, so he's actually going to be kind of tough for me to deal with. Um, I could probably kill him. What'd you say? You, you can kill him? Yeah, in fact, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, let's do it. Um, who wants to go first? Mm. You, you have a deal with that deep one? Yeah, I can punch him. I wish I had a weapon, but I can... Take him apart with my bare hands. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna commit. Overpower and predestined. To this test. Let's see what we get. So I'm at six. Three. Oh. Ooh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna return this one. Be successful one. Uh, so I failed uh, this test. Obviously. Let's show off predestined yeah. to the chat. Yeah. So that's so a new you, card. If you fail, you get to either add two blessed tokens or remove two curse tokens from the bag. Yes, and so if you're not familiar with blessing curse tokens, the blessed tokens are plus two. The curse tokens are minus two, but they don't end the result, right? You like draw it, and then you have to draw another token yeah. to get the, the final modifier. And then they get removed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there are no curse tokens, so I will put two blessed tokens in there. Huzzah. All right, let's try that again. Um, I'm going to... Let's just do it again. Let's throw <laughs> down some overpower. Six to three. Plus one. Nice. All right, so that resolves. I draw a card. I've done one, one damage. damage. Yep. Ooh. Not going to be able to kill this guy this turn, but... That's unfortunate. That's okay. Hmm. You don't have any... Finally uh, got a weapon, but... Okay. You know, I need to deal with this guy first. You could evade it. It's the same difficulty. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's up to you, though. If you evade it and he engages you again, he's going to just do another horror. Right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to punch him again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. That's I'm Silas. Silas mad. I'm going to play... Hmm. I'm going to play Resourceful on this, so 5 to 3. Getter404 asks, oh no, are swarms still a thing or did we leave those in the dreamlands? 
from there. There are no swarms. We just drew three enemies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my actions. I use resourceful to grab back predestined. Nice. All right, I can go next. Uh, let's do shriveling on your your other deep one, lurking deep one over there. Yeah, please don't hit me. <laughs> well, now I will. No, I so said don't. Okay, good. Go. Dead. Uh, I think Easy. I'll just use my fists on this rat here. I'll save my yeah. shriveling just, charges. Just start stomping. Yeah. Uh, they ask, does passing a key take an action? Um, Minus you know, I don't remember. It, it says does. it in the, it does? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know it's, it, I, I forgot if it was an action or fast, but it, yes. It's fast to pick it up, right. I believe. And it's, but it's, it's an, an action, action to pass. To pass. Yes, yeah. that, that is correct. Um, last action. Let's, I love drawing cards, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do that. And right. I'll crank David up. Another doom. Oh, mm -hmm. No. Too funny. Please tell me you have a sacrifice in there or something. <laughs> oh, I'm playing Dexter. So. Oh, that's right. You're Dexter. Never yeah. mind. I'm not concerned. Well, I have an asset. He's <laughs> gone. All right. Cool. Uh, so it's just me then. Um, well, what can I do? Uh, you know what? If I move over there and I get a clue, mm -hmm. I can automatically evade that deep one for you. Oh, that'd be cool. And then it wouldn't attack you. What uh, a good idea. But it would still engage you and do a horror anyway. That's that's still or better me. than one, of the two one of horror and a damage. That's true. It is it is better. Yeah. But I think the first thing I want to do is I definitely want to play pickpocketing mm -hmm. with my first two. Um, hmm. I mean the odds of me actually succe successfully investigating that location right now are not fantastic. It's four to four. I could help you out. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. So I'll move over there for okay. my second action. For my third action, I will investigate, mm -hmm. and you can help me out. I'm gonna. No, no I lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw in Unexpected some. courage. All right, I'll throw in a deduction as well. So I'm three over. Mm -hmm. And here we go. It's the cultist token, which is minus two. Is that if it? You, if you fail. Okay, I did not fail. Yes, yep. I succeeded. So I get two clues, and then I will trigger Trisha's ability to automatically evade that enemy. There's some clues for you. Thank you. I could have gotten a third clue. Instead of automatically evading that enemy, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. And after I evade an enemy, I can exhaust pickpocketing to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I still have one more action because of Leo De Luca, so I will play Deep Knowledge. And uh, so let me throw this up on the stream. Here we go. Uh, so uh, as an additional cost, we add two curse tokens to the bag. Oh, no. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh. And we, uh, the two of us, get to draw a total of three cards. Distributed as we wish. Oh. How many cards do you have? Six. <laughs> you don't need cards. I'm drawing all three. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'll give you one. Here. Oh, yeah, okay. you can take one. Okay. You can take one. Very kind. Very okay. kind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it for me. Uh, so enemy phase. That guy does nothing. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Then during the upkeep phase, he will get up and mm -hmm. engage one of us. Um, uh, doesn't have to be you. He has Could a prey, right? Doesn't oh, have to prey. Back? You're right. Yeah. Low, what is it? Lowest fit. Light. Oh, so he goes to me. What? He's going to me, whether we like it or not. So I take a horror. That's actually better than you taking a horror anyway. Yeah, I'll I can punch him for you if, if necessary. Yeah, he's only got one health left, so it should yeah. be easy to take him out. All right, and yes, a uh, card and a resource mm -hmm. for each of us. All right. All right. And we each get, um, and then we get a doom, and we each get a card. Mm -hmm. Aha, dreams of relay. Oh, another corset card. Yep, so I get minus one willpower and minus one sanity. You have to test willpower three to get rid of it. That's going to be hard for you. Yep. I think you might just have that forever. Yep. <laughs> well, if someone else can test it. Like the Dexter, Dexter could, yeah. could do it, yeah. Mm. That actually would be really useful because okay. minus one sanity for you is terrible. Riptide. Is, is your location unflooded? It is. So it's just going to gain surge. Okay. Fractured consciousness. All right, so you're going to test your intellect three. And if you reveal a tablet token, you automatically fail. Uh, now, it's worth noting that this uh, bag starts off with a lot of symbols in it, more than we've ever done in a scenario mm -hmm. one of a campaign. So there's two tablets in there currently, I think. Um, and if you fail, you take two damage. I'll let it go. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> no. Well, it's not a tablet, see that one. but I think you still fail. Minus three. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it, it do? If you, you fail... The, and the amalgam is in the depths. Oh, it's not. That's not a thing. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. We I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Okay, so you take two damage. 
There we go, David. Could be worse. All right. Yeah. Programs with Wolves says, yeah, ditch your friend like a real rogue. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> did you get your card? Uh, no, I did not. All right. I can't reach. OK. I, oh, I got a deep one bull. Uh -oh. it's, a, it's a big <laughs> linebacker deep Massive. one. <laughs> um, yeah, let's put it up here. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, after it engages, I have to choose and discard a card from my hand. I'll discard this other pickpocketing. Actually, no. I'll discard this other Leo de Luca pickpocketing stacks. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and he, yeah, after so he he doesn't have Hunter, but after another deep one, anywhere else is defeated, he goes after that person. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but he's easy to evade, so I could uh, I could probably deal with that guy if you can take care of the young deep one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I can do that. Okay. You wanna go first then? Sure. Uh, okay, so I'm going to fight him like normal. Um, hmm. Do deep ones have a football team? <laughs> the Innsmouth. I mean, he's a linebacker. The Innsmouth deep ones, yeah. I guess. I mean, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to, all right, I'm going to attack him. I will play. No, I'm going to save that, actually. I'm going to play... Hmm. We should go back and try to get those clues. All right, here's what I we're might doing. be able to get them. Here's what we're gonna do instead. You we're know what we skipped? Just like, what do we need to do to advance? We need nine clues. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Just completely missed that. I was like, I'm gonna play my baseball bat. Ooh, baseball bat. Yeah. Nice. Then I'm gonna use that baseball bat. Yep. To hit a young deep one. So we're on a baseball team then. Yeah. Yeah, and they're the football team. <laughs> Minus two, we're fine. Okay, and it wasn't the skull. Clobber. Good. So he's dead? He dead. Good job. Uh, so that was two actions. Third action, I'm going to. Um, ooh, do I want to try and get rid of these dreams? That could be good. It's going to be a difficult test for you because your willpower is only one. Yeah. I could boost up to four, but mm. it's just still not still not ideal. I think it's probably better to let Dexter try to do that for you. Yeah. I am instead, I'm going to try to investigate here. And I'm going to play Take Heart and Predestined. <laughs> okay. So hopefully that works. this yeah. does not succeed. Stella attack. Oh, oh good. Look good. at that. No, this is good. This, this is, is perfect. This that is, was a curse token, is, by the way. This is some optimal play right now. Oh, oh, no. oh that's not oh. good. Come on. Or those covenants when you need them. All right. All right. Uh, if you, you fail, fail, your location and your location is flooded, it which is. is take one damage. Okay, so you take or one damage. Five. That's fine. You've got so nine these health. Let's go out. And then you can either add two bless or remove two curse, and you get the take heart effect as well. Two bless in there for sure. I agree. And then, yeah, take heart, which lets me draw two cards and gain two resources. Nice. <clears throat> Pretty cool. All right, you're done, right? I'm done. Okay, um, I'll go. Sure. Um, I'm going to evade this deep one. Uh, so it's four to two. Uh, here we go. Uh, sneak away from him. Uh, that's the tablet. What's the tablet do? Minus two. Good. If you fail. I do not fail. Kay. I succeed. So I evade him. Uh, can you put him exhausted over there? Of course. And I'm going to trigger my pickpocketing to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to eavesdrop on him. Mm. Yeah. So I choose an, an unengaged enemy at my location. I choose the bull. Learn I test intellect versus his evade value. So four to two again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to commit perception to this mm -hmm. test. So mm -hmm. I'm over by four. And booyah. Skull token is what? Minus one. Kay. Minus two. Instead if it's partially flooded. It is partially flooded. Okay. But Minus two. Okay. I still succeed by two. So I discover two clues at my location, and I'll trigger Trish's ability to get a third clue at my location. Oh, snap. Because I'm a spy. Just hoovering them up. Yep. And so we now have five, six, five. We just five. have five. Yeah. You're the only uh, one. Okay. Clues. Yeah. And then perception triggers a draw a card. So that was uh, actions one and two. I'm doing pretty good here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so I could actually try to deal with this guy, but since he only moves when another deep one is killed, I say we just abandon him. Oh, well, I won't be here. able to get away. Okay. That's okay. I can clobber him. 
Okay, then I'll help you clobber him. Okay. I'll play a... I'll gain a resource and then play a sneak attack for my third and fourth actions. So, two automatic damage. Nice. Booyah. That's it for me. All right. First action, I'll draw. Second action, I'm a lone wolf. Mm. Great. He's never going to help us ever again. <laughs> so, uh, use David. It's a doom for you. Is that why you took uh, Lone Wolf out of my deck? I'll leave a Doom Because you time. wanted to be oh, okay. the Lone Wolf? Okay. And then, yes, that's why. <laughs> Let's get a Claire Wayne Stealth there as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And that's it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep mm -hmm. phase, everything readies. Mm -hmm. That Deep One will engage one of the two of us. He has I'll no prey, so we can decide. He will make you discard a card. Yep, that's fine. And then we just get a card and a resource. That's fine. Ditch that. Ooh. Got a good card. All right. Now we're cooking. Nice. OK, so Doom. Mm -hmm. That puts us at five out of seven. Doom. Jeremy. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Yep. I know, I know. Just making sure you remember. Rising <laughs> tides. Increase oh, the flood level of the nearest location that can have its flood level increased. So, so your location can't have its flood mm -hmm. level increased. So yes, that is correct. All right, that's cool. all that happens. All right. Oh. <laughs> rats. <laughs> More rats. Okay. Another rising tides. So that means that the unfamiliar chamber is now fully flooded. Oof. Uh -oh. Yikes. Yikes, a Rooney. It's not good. Let's uh, get some like buckets. Or yeah, something. yeah. Is that, right? is that an asset? Buckets. <laughs> buckets. The bucket <laughs> Lower asset. the flood level. <laughs> well, well, you starting your turn there, so you got to get out. Yes, I might as well go first. Go for it. Yeah. Get my lone wolf buck. And pass me a dollar. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll use my fist to take on these rats. Are these rats also drowning? They're fine. Really? It's fine. They can it's fine. Rats win. They're aquatic rats. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Shh! Don't question it. Innsmouth rats, they Innsmouth got little rats. like gills. Yeah, like gills. Yeah. <laughs> Deep rats. <laughs> no. Oh, no. That's... I failed. You oh, failed. No. No, you uh, failed to punch rats. There's no kicker. So. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you can just move and take a damage. Yes. If you really have to. Second action, I'll use my fists again. Minus two. Nice. Uh, no, three. Minus three. Oh, oh my goodness, you failed again. No. Yeah, I guess I'll have to move. Let's go. <laughs> Other direct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that that could be fully flooded too, and then you and then you're totally borked. Yeah, that's right? true. <laughs> and you just drown. Yeah, and I you guess you have to come to here. Yeah, you know, head over here to play safe. Yeah, and then we can take care of the rats at the very least, so they no. won't hit you again. Hit me for one. Mm-hmm. And that's it. I guess I'll gain two money for Dave. Well, do I want to kill David now? I got one more turn. Right? Uh, well, if you, you you'd have to get rid of him this round. Because otherwise it's going to go up to seven during the Mythos phase. Six, right? Yeah. Three huh? and two. But I mean, if you add one, then during the Mythos phase we add oh, another one. Oh, oh yeah, one. it's a me. I'll just get two dollars. Okay, perfect. Two resources. Yeah. Pass me a couple. Thanks. Uh. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Pass in. You're definitely not an L field. All right. <laughs> yeah. You can be a okay. catcher. I was second base in Little League. I, I was that. terrible, but <laughs> no. yeah. Um, I, was, I was right field. Mm -hmm. I never we? played Little League. <laughs> 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 um, what are we doing? You, so you're the only one who went, right? Yep. So do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to clobber this deep one bowl. Okay. It's clobbering time. Because then, because I, well, oh. alternatively, if I go first, I could like do some of 80. Sure. Stuff, All right. But, whatever. Uh, you do the, no, the sneaky sneak. <laughs> why don't you go first and then we'll see if I'm needed. Because if I'm not needed, I'll just go and discover clues. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, uh, sure, I could use this. I need money. Feel free to punch my rats if you want. That's yeah, true. true. I'm going to take care of this guy first. Yeah. I'm going to punch him six to four. Oh, let's, let's go up to eight to four. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a blessed Ooh, token. Blessed Thanks. So now 10 to 4. 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> unnecessary right, gonna, bless token is unnecessary. Uh, I'm going to commit a skill test. Well, I did not mean for that to land on him, but that's pretty cool. Nice shot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one second. I've got, got some triggers here. Yeah, yeah, you got some stuff to have. Yeah, so I can commit something from my discard pile to the test, but then goes back to my hand. That will be resourceful. Nice. Um, so I'm going to use my ability after the chaos token is revealed to pull this back. And then I am going to deal two damage to him for the successful attack. I get this back, which lets me get another survivor card back, <laughs> which will be all of the recursion predestined. That went well. Yeah, that went very well. I think I might have too many cards. Yeah, you might. Close. I have nine, or over. I mean, he's only got one health left, so you might not need to use the baseball bat if you commit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A few cards or something. Yeah. You don't want to risk it breaking. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll punch him normal. We'll punch him for... We'll punch him normal. That's a sentence. <laughs> yep. Punch him normal. Um, punch it, Chewy. I will... throw in those. Nice. We'll be at 8 to 4. 8 to 4. That's that Minus guy. 3. You got it. All right. Whew. Nice. It's a good thing you committed this. Yeah. Uh, so skill test was successful, so I draw a card. Roll the power. And then you have one action left. I do have one action left. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Jeremy's pointing <laughs> at the rats. <laughs> Jeremy can Trish get rid of, your, well, get rid of his, uh, his dreams. Next round, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. You already wanted to Yeah. Hmm. Oh, man. I really want to do this. And then, hmm. <laughs> Just kill the rats. Fine. <laughs> I will Be a team player, I says will the kill rogue. the rats. <laughs> <laughs> Four to one. Got him. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, Evan's usually the rogue. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's where my heart is. Okay, so it's my turn. There's no more enemies. So I, I'm going to move over to the unfamiliar chamber because um, there's some clues there. Mm -hmm. And I'm still the only person with clues. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so I'm just going to yeah, I'm just gonna investigate. Let's do it. So four to three. Mm -hmm. It's not the best, but that's what I got. Actually, should I just go run around and see what those other locations are? Since it's relatively safe for me. No, to no, no. Let, let me do that. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. Let's do it. Four to three. Minus one. That's one clue. Uh, I can't reach. And second action, or third action. Mm -hmm. It's a bless token followed by a minus one. So I succeed. Mm -hmm. So I get another clue. That bless token goes away. I think we're out of bless tokens in the bag now, right? Uh, there's, there's, one, one there's one left. And fourth action because of Leo. I get a minus one. I get another clue. Wow. Jeez, same token. Ooh, Very look nice. at me. Uh, so that puts me at eight. One more clue and we can advance. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Upkeep phase, everybody gets a card and a resource. Everything ready is. Mm -hmm. I need to ditch a card. Oh, nice. And I just ah, got. It was my weakness I drew. Oh, that's not good. Put Siren Call into play in your threat area. <laughs> uh, so I will be spending two actions to get rid of this. In all likelihood, yeah. Because it's a Unless bad you, Well, you've got a lot of resources. You could technically afford it, but maybe not for the rest of the I game. I suppose. That's true. Pass me a resource, please. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's probably still worth it to get rid of it, yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. Uh, well, and then we get a Doom. Right? Or did we already get a Doom? Nope, we have not gotten it okay, yet. Okay, so Doom. Mm -hmm. So that's four to, uh, six to seven. Yep. And then we each get a card. Fractured Consciousness. Test Intellect. Three. You reveal a tablet. Automatically fail. Rest in peace, Deep One Bill. Bill, he was deep, man. <laughs> you know, like three. I love it. Can I boost this? Um, I'm not with you, so I can't help. I'm probably going to fail. Let's throw. What did you fail? Take two damage? Let's throw yeah, predestined at this. Yeah. As predicted. Man, you are so destined. Very predestined. You're extremely destined. On yes. a scale of one to destined, you're destined. <laughs> Two blessed tokens in there. I also have a dreams of relay. Oh, oh, that's good. Better you than me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's this. Deep one assault. 
Uh, disengage from each deep one, animate your location, and then they re-engage if there are any nearby. There are none. So instead, I have to go search the encounter deck and discard pile for a deep one enemy, spawn it, engage with me, and shuffle the encounter deck. Yeah, um, yeah. I would like to get the one that's not for evade. So I'm going to grab this deep one, this young deep one from the encounter deck. Mm. He deals me a horror. That's I mean, fine. he's pretty creepy. Yeah, but that's okay. I can deal with him. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? I should have grabbed that key while I'm... I mean, I can just do it right now. Yeah, mm. reaction. Yeah, gimme. What color is it? Yellow. It is a calcified piece of chitin in the shape of a tentacle. Oh, I know what that one is. That's cool. Calcified okay. chitin. <laughs> 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 All right, um, who wants to go first? So I've been having some bad dreams, man. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I suppose I can. I'll test yours first. Yay. Remember how I stepped on those rats for you, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, so I'm by two. Someone can get that last clue we can advance and we'll get a victory. But it's also foreshadowed, so I understand if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Do <laughs> that didn't work. Try it again. Ah. Oh, blessed. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, the curse. Curse. I think that's the last curse. Should be. Yep, it is. Minus two. Yep. Nice. I succeed. All right. Awesome. This goes. Yeah, pro, pro tip for people watching at home if you want to count the number of blessed or curse tokens that are in the bag, you just count the number that is not in the bag. Mm -hmm. And then 10 minus that. Yes. Yep. Math. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Use mathematics. <laughs> Last session, I'll actually probably do my own first. Now we're getting yeah. Mm, <laughs> the minus one. Whoops. Yeah. That was a dumb mistake. <laughs> and we're gonna need it. That's turn it. Oh, Real well. dumb. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll use David to get. Two resources. I guess three. Might as well put one on there now. Since right. And then you gotta mm -hmm. replace it. Get rid of them with the liquid courage. Yeah, nice. pass these over. There's some money for you. Thank you. I'm and gonna need that liquid courage because I'm about to do something stupid. All these four supplies. Oh, we're getting low on resources. Yeah, we're getting damage. low on resources. We only have one course that's worth the resources here. Yeah. Yeah. No, Oops. Oops. That's, uh, that's tough for three people. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. We'll be okay. We'll use damage. I should spend some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should as well. <laughs> all right. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I have some cheesy things I can do, and I have some cool things I can do. And I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out what are, which I should do. Um, I think I'll just... Let's see. Hmm. Is it worth me using my signature card right now? Probably not. Probably no, not. I'm going to hold on to that. I should have played this when I first drew the deep on Assault, and I didn't. Mm. So it's too late now. Um, hmm. Do you need me to come over and like smack that deep one around for you? Would that be helpful? Eh, I can probably evade it. It's four okay. to three, which isn't great odds, but I have multiple attempts because I've got Leo. Mm -hmm. And if I really want to, I can commit this other pickpocketing. Mm. I'd rather play it but mm -hmm. I can commit mm -hmm. it if I have to. Um, I mean, I am in a fully flooded location, which means I definitely want to get out of here. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I think it'll be better. I'm just going to take the attack of opportunity and move. There's a method to my madness. Um, move me down here, please. Yep. Yep. You have found an okay. another, another underground, underground river. Okay. It's not fully flooded, so I can breathe. I stopped drowning. Which is usually a good thing. One, two, three, four, five, six clues. Can you put that on there, please? Yep, of course. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, now I'm going to try to evade it, and I'm gonna commit this pickpocketing. So I'm over by two. Mm -hmm. And now the skulls are minus two, so that should improve my odds greatly at success. And I succeeded. Nice. So I'll pickpocket him to draw a card. That was actions one and two. And 
action three, I will... What did he have in his pockets? Uh, he had a Faustian bargain. <laughs> <laughs> like he you did. Like, oh, what is yeah, this oh, dark what contract? Is this, what is this contract? <laughs> I could sign this. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I don't have exactly enough actions to do what I really wanted to do, which was play this uh, this card and then use it. Um, so instead, uh, I've got two actions left. You guys don't need money. I'm going to play this Faustian bargain on, uh, just on myself, gain a bunch of money. Um, I'm going to use... I can use these damage on here as well. Okay, sure. Tokens. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five resources for myself for two, at the cost of two curse tokens. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And then for my last action, I'm going to play a cryptographic cipher that will help me oh. do everything that I need to do. One, two, three. Uh, boom. Okay. Cryptographic, man. Oh, it's got three secrets on it. We'll use little horrors for secrets. Okay, that's it. All right. Nice. Uh, I'm going to, my turn is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna, two actions to get rid of Siren Call. I'm gonna play Drawing Thin for free. Nice. This is, this is a good card. That is a very good card. Yep. Although, it is on the taboo list, you cheater. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 don't, we ignore that. <laughs> That's it, right? Yep. Uh, card and a resource. And sadly, this will get back up and engage me and deal me another horror. This is the worst thing about these guys when you're playing as Trish. Another Doom. Let's see what we got here. Oh, some rats for me. <laughs> some rats for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lurking deep one. Oh, good. Uh, Take one take a damage. damage. I'm getting a little I can slobber that guy for you. Up. Okay, um, hey, uh, Dexter, you handle this one. Sure. It's a macabre mento. It's a willpower test. Uh, do we see this one? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I guess not. So, yeah, no, test will three. Good. If you reveal a cultist token, you automatically fail. If you fail, take two horror. But you're full up on sanity, so, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Don't, don't justify the decision. <laughs> Just, no, let it, it, just let it stand as like I'm being, yeah, you're being a rogue. Well, I also get a resource out. <laughs> yeah, so Ooh, look at that. What happens? Uh, I'm going to return my acid I control in my hand to draw a card. Mm. Also They're all full two, up, but... so you probably don't need to. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you mind if I go first? I do not. Okay. I am offended. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I have... I have some stuff I can do. Um, hmm. So the question is, I really don't want to take another attack of opportunity to do this. So I'll um, I'll do the fast option on here. Mm -hmm. um, so I spend a secret and I exhaust the cryptographic cipher. It's at fast speed, so I don't get an attack of opportunity. Oh, this is ready. And I investigate with plus one shroud, so it's five shroud. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to commit this perception. So six to five. Ooh, I don't want to commit this because I want to play this. So it's only six to five. That's not that's not fantastic odds, but if this works, it's going to be huge for me right now. <laughs> so here we go. Just hope for the best. Now that there's like two more curse tokens in the bag. <laughs> ah, my hubris. Okay, I failed. Your hubris. I should have committed another card. Oh well. Um, so that fails, which is highly unfortunate because I lose my perception and I don't get to evade him automatically. So now I'll just evade him like normal. Like a mortal. Like a normal person. <laughs> Four to three. Uh-oh. Minus not good. two. What, is, what happens if I fail? If you fail and you control a key, take one horror. Oh my goodness. It's, it's not going well for, uh, for me. Wow, this is really bad. Okay. Can you uh, drink some of Jeremy's liquid courage? Yeah, if he was over here. Yeah, you know. All right, get I'll, there. I'll evade again, and I'll commit this. Oh, I don't want to commit this, but I'll commit this 25 auto. So now I'm over by two. Yeah, now I get the plus one. That figures. <laughs> okay, so he's evaded. Uh -huh. I get to pickpocket, and I have a now I have a cool thing that I can do at least. So. 
Oh, but he's just gonna engage me again, and then I'll have like one sanity left. Unless you guys yeah, can you deal with him this turn or something. Yeah, one of us can come over there. Yeah. Well, what I want to do is I want to play this intel report and get that last clue at the underground river. Mm. Just for free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm not going to... Oh, yes. I will do that because I can also automatically evade your deep one with intel report using my ability. I'll probably kill it but if you want. Well, it's not a hunter. So you can just leave it behind. True, but there are... There are cards that will make them engage. Deep one yeah, but... Mm -hmm. but yeah, well, even if you do kill it, it's still better to have it unengaged. So I'll spend four, or no, uh, yeah, four, mm -hmm. yeah, to discover a clue up to two locations away. I'll automatically evade yours, and then I can advance us. Let's do it. Okay, Why let's not? do it, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. You find a path that leads deeper into this strange cave system, but before you can follow it to see where it leads, the sound of water sloshing behind you sets your heart racing. When you turn to face the sound, what you see next nearly causes you to faint. It is an enormous hybrid of many faces and shapes. Oh, some like human, that. some aquatic, all of them misshapen and revolting. As the thing draws closer, you meet the frozen gaze of one of the faces upon its body, and you realize that you recognize it. Spawn the set aside the amalgam enemy engaged with the lead investigator. Oh, thanks. Oh, I see you. Okay, good. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I was worried it was going to engage me. Shuffle, set aside copies of Blind Sense and From the Depths into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. All right. So the whole thing goes back. There you go. There those. Cute. Shuffle each of the set aside tidal tunnel locations together to form the tidal tunnel deck, including the set aside altar to Dagon, idol chamber, and sealed exit locations. <laughs> Put locations from the top of the tidal tunnel deck into play below to the left and to the right of each revealed location. Read flashback one in the campaign guide. Okay, so um, who wants to do which thing? Uh, why don't I read the flashback All right. while you do the, the setup? There you go. Okay. So we saw, we looked at its face and we saw our memories come flooding back. Mm. You stand at a small office, examining a worn photograph in a well-polished wooden frame. In the photo, a squad of men in military uniforms pose in front of a Bristol F-2 fighter plane. Several of the men wear tan British out uniforms, but one sports the olive overcoat and khakis of an American soldier. His sleeves each bear a rectangular patch striped vertically with a captain's bit paired silver bars. At the bottom of the photograph, in black ink, cursive handwriting reads, British 4th Army outside St. Quentin, 1918. The door to the office opens suddenly, startling, startling you. You put the photograph down and turn to adjust the man entering. You identify him immediately by his dark brown skin, his strong jaw, and his broad shoulders. It is Thomas Dawson, the American from the photograph, though he has aged a bit since his war days and heavy bags hang under his eyes. One war ends, a new one begins, he says quietly. Only this enemy is even harder to root out. You ask the man what a war hero is doing in the investigative business, and he chuckles softly in response. War hero? I don't know where you heard that from. I was just doing my duty. You shake your head, but do not argue further. You suspect that the squadron Captain Dawson rescued would disagree as well. In any event, I suppose you're wondering why I summoned you here to Boston, he says, gesturing for you to take a seat in front of his desk. You sit and re respond to his remark with affirmation, wondering aloud why a telephone call would not have sufficed. This is a sensitive matter, he replies. A few days ago, I lost contact with one of my agents, a Miss Alina Harper. I had her investigating several strange reports I've received in the past few months, all concerning a town called Innsmouth. Do you know the place? It's along the coast to the north of your town of Arkham, just by Ipswich. You know the place. Though most have never heard of the shadowed, decrepit seaport, those who do hear only ill rumors. From what you understand, the town used to be a lively port before the War of 1812, but has since become dingy and run down. The only railway line that runs through Innsmouth is abandoned. And there are no references to the town on any maps or in any guidebooks you've ever seen. Perhaps she's found something curious, or has gone into hiding, but I suspect foul play. It could be mob work, but I doubt it. I'm not sending any more agents until I know for sure. However, I have some room in our discretionary budget to hire a third party, such as yourself. You assume Agent Dawson is dancing around the truth, which is that you are expendable. I know it isn't much to go on, but I need to know the status of Agent Harper. Even bad news would be better than no news at this point. If you do me this favor, our agency will be in your debt. 
You ask which agency Dawson is referring to. A smirk tugs at his lips. When you snap back to the present, you still gaze at, agents Do at Agent Dawson's face, only now his smirk is twisted in a haunting visage of agony. It is just one of the many faces that writhe in torment throughout this repulsive creature's scaly, pulsating flesh. <laughs> and in our campaign log, under Memories we Recovered, we list a meeting with Thomas Dawson. It has been written. Ooh. <laughs> okay. um, do we want to show the chat? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's show off this guy. Not so bad. 332. That's oh, that Seems easy. Yeah. Uh, after you successfully evade him by two or more, take control of one key on it. After the Miyagum engages you, if you control a key, place one of your keys on it, or it attacks you. I don't control a key, so we're fine. Mm. When the Miyagum is defeated, place it in the depths. Yes. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to... Beat it up with a baseball bat. All right, swing away. All right, so we've got these new title tunnel locations into play. We did that, and it's got the the it's got all the other locations in there, the sealed exit and the yep, altar. Yep. And okay. They're all shuffled together. All right, and he doesn't enter play with a key, right? No. Nope. Okay. He does not. The reason I'm asking, legitimately, huh? genuinely, is because I don't remember because <laughs> I, we designed this so long ago. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's uh, swing Bada Bada. Good luck. Uh, I'm going to commit resourceful. Give me that bag. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. The tablet. Minus two? Yeah, we're fine. Nice. All right, so I can get another survivor card back. Probably predestined again. Were you, were you baseball batting? Yeah. Nice. Oh, you know it. Here you go. Sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and smack him again. Hmm. Should have put more cards that give me stuff to do with all this money in this deck. <laughs> uh, I'll just I'll just try and hit him normal. So six to three. All you really need is like a scrapper. Yeah. Something that you could just spend money right. into. Uh oh. Baseball uh -oh. bat, no. No, Mr. Baseball bat. Uh, minus two. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we're still fine. We still hit so him. You still succeed, but yep. the baseball bat breaks. Rap. All right. He goes into the depths. He goes the into depths. the depths. So the depths is like an out of play area that is referenced by other cards. So he's he's gone. For now. For now. Oh, we should probably read the text on Act 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. we should find out what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of important. What in the hell is this place? And why have you been trapped here? You have to find a way out, but more of your memories might be tucked away in this pit. After a location is revealed, put locations from the top of the title tunnel deck into play below to the left and to the right of that location. Objective, there must be a way out of here somewhere. If each surviving investigator has resigned, advance. Run away! So we need to find a way to, yes, <laughs> escape. Um, let's see, I guess I will. Hmm. Just stomp on these rats, I suppose. Mm. Might as well. Yes. Um, you could, <laughs> if you're feeling ballsy, you could raise the difficulty. <laughs> I don't think you need to. Yeah, do I'm that. at seven cards <laughs> and a ton of money. So, all right, we're just gonna stomp on rats. Do it. Stomp on rats. They're dead. No, oh, you could have raised them. Successfully oh, stomped well. on them. All right. That's Is it? it? That's it. That's it. You haven't gone yet, right? I haven't seen any help over there. Um. Well, if you move twice, you still won't be able to kill it, right? Uh, I can. You can. Okay. If you can kill it, then that'd be great. Because then, otherwise. Um, otherwise, I'm going to take another horror we engages, and I'll be down to like one sanity, which is super not good. Um, otherwise, just moving here and healing my horror with your liquid courage would be good. I got a spectral razor, so I'll go for the mm. kill. Okay, nice. So let's move over there. And support Dexter over here. <laughs> Saving our asses. <laughs> I have uh, some feedback for you guys. Oh, sure. Wing It at Gaming says, These first two scenarios have been amazing. If this keeps up, it'll give Carcosa a run for its money. Hard but satisfying, and the theme sings. Nice. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I love the second scenario in this uh, mm -hmm. 
Are we gonna play through that too? Well, maybe. <laughs> well, I guess when I engage, it's to take a horror first and then peel. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sweet. What is it? You may engage, or do you have to engage? Uh, for a special I guess it's you may, isn't it? Yeah, you may. Yeah, so you don't have to. All right. All right. Awesome. Great. Uh, yeah, and that's it. That's great. Okay. Um, so that enemy readies, mm -hmm. and he will engage you and deal you a damage. Come here, buddy. And then everything readies. Everybody gets a card and a resource. Uh, Ooh, okay, that's useful. Okay. And we get the sixth doom. Mm -hmm. And then we each get a card. What do we get here? If the amalgam is in the depths, oh, oh great. Here we go. Put it into play, engage with you. It's back already. Whee! Well, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have no... Uh... You can always just evade it. Yeah. It's to evade, so it's pretty easy to get rid yeah. of. Yeah. Memory of Oblivion. Uh, Better you than me. I will <laughs> commit this guts to this. Is this game for real right now? I got another young deep one. <laughs> so, another horror. <sighs> three. We gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm at one sanity. I mean, I've got Leo, but I don't want to lose him. Six <gasps> still fail. I'll do that darn thing I think you're out. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, you messed up that. Can you get rid of it now, you think? I uh, should be able to. Okay. I have bad news for you, though. I don't know if you saw. I have another deep one. <laughs> Never ending. I know. It really feels that way. There's hordes of them. Yeah. Okay, well. These tunnels are stuffed with deep ones. <laughs> Just packed with them. <laughs> what do we do? Who wants They've to go got first? them in here like sardines. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, what, what, I'm, what do? I'm just gonna fight these guys. If this was less than a four shot, if if we could get a two shot location over here, I could just cryptographic cipher this guy. But mm -hmm. ooh. he complains at his scenario. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Who, who made this? Mm -hmm. Who made it this way? I'm gonna just fight these guys. Okay, yeah. Well, evade the, the yeah. amalgam, yes. Yeah. Uh, for... Hmm. You need your harpoon. Or your net, for that matter. I have my net in my hand. Ooh. I haven't had a chance but to play it, it yet. Yeah, playing it would be a little a little too damaging right now. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Just need to shake these guys. Just gotta shake these guys for a sec. Um, what are we at? Okay. I believe in you. We're just gonna just gonna do it straight. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if my record continues. Mm, yep. So whenever two. I say I believe in you, good, it's a death good. sentence okay. for whoever so, I'm saying so it to. So we're through. evens now. Yep. Oh, yep. auto fail. There we go. All right. So, Every time. So the curse token is out. All right. That's that's fine. That's fine. We're all fine here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and evade it again. Hey, I don't believe in you. Yeah. You're gonna fail miserably. Minus two, so we're fine. <laughs> All right. I knew it. Evaded. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can evade this guy. Mm. Maybe I could. I'd have to chuck my net. Probably that would be bad. And we're at zero experience. So you don't even have like a brute force or anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Could try to punch it and put a damage on it. It'll punch me back. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. You're starting to get low. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the, these drawing. deep ones, their stats aren't extremely high, but that forced auto damage mm -hmm. and auto horror is really gnarly. It stacks up fast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Been spending too much time. We need, we need some healing. Brawling with these guys. But we don't have a guardian. Hmm. This is my third action, unfortunately. I'm just gonna punch it. Okay. Four to two. Minus one. Got him. All right, one damage. You got it. Okay. That's me. Jeremy? Oh yeah, shrivel is. Um, either that or heal my horror. 
so that it doesn't, like, I can evade it and it won't automatically kill me, you know what I mean? Or both. <laughs> or clear your dreams and then do something, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Uh, it is Hunter though, so... Yeah, we we'd eventually just, would like to kill it. Just kill it. Okay. I think I'll start by doing this. Mm -hmm. Committing two. So you're three up. I got no will, so I can't help you. No will to survive. Minus three. Ooh, good. All right, it's gone. Yep. And then let's do uh, shriveling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So five to three. Uh, the shrivels. Minus two. Okay, but you take a horror. This is damage. Three. Oh, here. Another horror thing. Thank you. And then. Last action, let's... Take it out. Try to. Knock it out the box. With the shriveling. Uh, <laughs> I guess we could try punching it. Punching it? Do you have... I don't expect the in hand. Uh, yeah, it's the same odds. Five to three. So Do it. Really save a shriveling. Yeah, yeah. Matt, it's better. I still don't have any fists to loan you, so... It's the same either way. Oh, look at that, wrapping the alt art, unexpected courage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, right. Very nice. Call he is dead. dead. Okay, that helps. I am feeling much better. I still only have one sanity, but um, it, what are you going to do? I can help with that next round, hopefully. Yeah, and I, I, I can't really do anything to help you right now unless I go over there, which I could do, but there's no clues there. It's true. So... Mostly we just have to explore, right? Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Is I'm gonna I'm gonna move down. Uh, so uh, is this the exit? Uh, no, it is a fish graveyard. That's the opposite of an exit. There's three clues on it, uh, and we need uh, yeah two more tidal tunnels. Mm -hmm. um, and it says, forced after you end your turn. Oh yep. Yeah. After you end your turn at fish graveyard, if you do not control the key, take one horror. Mm. Thank goodness I have a key because mm -hmm. I have one sanity left. And then, as a free triggered ability, if there are no clues on Fish Graveyard and you control the red key, inside a pile of half rotten fish guts, you find a strange figure and the red key fits into perfectly and you read a flashback. We do not have the red key, mm. so. And it's irrelevant for the time being. Um, but this place is relatively safe for me because I have a key. Mm -hmm. So I might just hang out here for a little bit. And that's it. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's not it. I have yeah. still three actions like, left. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 um, it's only two shot. I could just investigate it, or I could keep I could keep exploring since I'm free and uncom unencumbered by let's, monsters. Let's uh, let's find the sex set. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go here. Uh, it's a tidal pool. It enters play with another one of the set aside face down keys. Okay. It also has three clues, and it's three shroud plus one shroud while it's partially flooded plus two shroud while it's fully flooded. Nice. It is currently not flooded. Um, okay, here I'm going to stay and investigate because that key might be the red key that we need for the fish graveyard. Mm -hmm. So I will investigate. For the fish guts. Um, I'm not going to use my cryptographic cipher. I'm just going to investigate four to three. That's fine. Um, actually, no, I will reduce the shot by two. So four to one. Got it. Looking and good. I'll investigate again, four to three. Got it. Two more clues. Nice. Look at me. All right. That's it. That's everyone, right? Yep. Kay. All right. Uh, enemy phase, he attacks you for yep. one and one. Ouch. And then during the upkeep phase, the amalgam gets up and engages you as mm -hmm. well, which is uh, not good with a capital N. Ro ro. That's um, all right. We'll be fine. Yeah. Everything is going to be OK. Oh. Everything might be okay. I actually just do... Oh, no. That doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> uh, if you were at a location with a clue, I could help you out. Mm. But you're not. I also And wish uh, I was guess what else is going to happen? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Jin advances. Your worst fears are coming true. Puddles of water that had barely reached your ankles are rising and joining one another. You scramble to find higher ground, but your efforts are for naught. In a matter of minutes, the water level has risen to your knees and shows no sign of slowing. Increase the flood level of each revealed location. Until the end of the game, each time a location is revealed, increase its flood level. Keep this card next to the act deck as a reminder and advance to Agenda 2A. So these can't be fully flooded. That yep. one's already fully flooded, so it's just these two. Yep. But now whenever we reveal one of these other locations, they're going to enter play with their flood level up by one. That is correct. The water rises. Your every movement is coupled with the loud swashing of rippling water all around you. If the tide continues to rise, the cavern will be completely submerged in a matter of hours. And it has the same forced effect, where if we end, start our turn in fully flooded location, we cannot end there. All right. That's it. Oh, uh, cards. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. A fractured consciousness. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. It's damage, at least. But it's also testing uh, book. book test. I don't want a book test. That's no, no good. I can't help you, so you're mm. on your own. Test three. Grump, grump, grump. I hope this is the red key. Oh, I, am. I need to ditch down the, to get down the 50 cards. 50. Yeah. Hmm. Because if it is, I just march over there and get those and trigger that. I'm going to. Yeah, if I take two more damage, I'll be at seven out of nine. But it's not good. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. Predestined to take heart. <laughs> yeah, right. That's, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm looking it's at. E I mean, it's either that predestined to take heart, drawing thin, and you just tank it, yep. or if you have like a bunch of wild icons, you throw them in, hope I, for the best. I do not. I have two, which would only get me one up, mm. which I don't think is worth it. So yeah. Yep. <laughs> drawing thin to draw a card, and then do those, and we will. Fail. Oh, it was yeah, the tablet. You very much Auto failed. Auto fail anyway. What does the tablet do? Take a horror if you have a key? Uh, yeah, yes. You don't have a key. Yep, so I take two damage. Do we want to remove the one curse in the bag or add two blessings? Add two blessings. Yeah, of course. I agree. Of course. And then I get two <laughs> more course. resources. I'm not even going to count resources <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Here, this is a five. Yeah, here That's a five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, mm. four, five. There you go. Stuck That's in an undertow. After I move, I take two damage and two horror, discard Undertow. Mm. As a fast action, I can discard one card from my hand to test Combat 3 or Agility 3. If I succeed, discard Undertow. That's not good. Mm. At least you've got three combat. Yeah, still. It's um, but you're doing um, okay on damage and horror. It'd be really bad yeah. if I got it. Or if you got it. Mm -hmm. True. Your card? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Deep one. <laughs> At least it's it's the damage one. Actually, this is fine. This is fine because it's the damage one, mm -hmm. and I've got like six health left. Um, and in fact, it'll help me. In, it'll help me um, get clues if I really want to abuse that. All right. So, what do we do? All right. I can. So my location's Forsha now because of the mm -hmm. tidal pool. Um, if I successfully investigate, I can just automatically evade this guy and then leave. He's not Hunter. Yeah, I think that's the best bet. All right. Do you mind if I go first? Go for it. Okay. I'm just going to be dealing with these guys, so. I wish I could help you. That's yeah, fine. I'm kind of far away. Maybe. <laughs> is it fine? Is, is this, is it this Evan, fine. it's fine, or is this actually fine? It might be fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. There's a line. <laughs> yeah, if there was a clue in your location, I could automatically evade them because I yeah. got another intel report. If there was a clue, hand. I could play one of my two inquiring minds that I have what? in my hand. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, no. Someone had to get all the clues here. Well, <laughs> I was getting us a victory point. You know? <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. The problem is investigating... This, the only way that I can investigate without taking an attack of opportunity is to use this, and then it's five shroud, mm -hmm. which is unlikely to succeed unless I commit a bunch of cards. Mm. Uh, I could get to six, six to five. It's not great. No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's time for me to be in the shadows. 
Go for it. I really want to play this when there's like three enemies on me, but uh, we're in, we're actually not doing too great. You so really adopted I'm just the dark. Do it. Yeah. All right. So this guy unengages. Sorry. <laughs> what am I doing? Why did I think that that would work perfectly? <laughs> I'm not gambit. <laughs> okay. So uh, for the rest of the, the round, he can't engage me, but I can't damage him. That's fine. I'll uh, use my cryptographic cipher and reduce the shroud by two. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a four to two test. And I got it, because that's a minus two. Yep. Whew. All right, so I get the clue, and I automatically evade him. Mm -hmm. And the key as well. And I get the key. It is red. Nice. Nice. Uh, so second action, I'll move over here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, don't you have to take a horror though? It's, it's no, trigger. it's if you don't have a key. Oh, take I see. A horror. Um, but I do. So then I will. Um, hmm. I'm gonna replace my cryptographic cipher with a cryptographic cipher. I'll actually just play a second one on top of it. <laughs> Ta-da! And so that was investigate, move, play. I've got one action left. I'll just investigate um, four to two. Got it. Get another clue. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Can you do uh, next turn? I can get rid of that. All right. Oh, I also pickpocket when I evaded him earlier. Sure. What do you have in his pockets? It's, it's my weakness. <laughs> that would have changed the entire round. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> Grim Rule says we go back in time and I do it, I guess. Because that's the worst thing that could happen. But technically, I shouldn't but have been able to yeah, actually isn't, draw isn't it. Isn't it the more hardcore rule to say you missed the trigger? I missed the trigger. Isn't that the I more hardcore the one? <laughs> <laughs> it was too late for me to trigger the pickpocketing is what that's, happened. That's right. That's what I'm, happened. Uh, definitely, definitely not cheating. Um. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, All right. Either one of you. What's your plan? I'm just gonna fight these things and try and get out of this alive. <laughs> uh, good luck. That's a good, yeah. Try to I get mean, out of this alive is a good plan. Not, not, not fight. Uh, I mean, if you literally, if you can, if you just punch the lurking deep one and kill it, and then mm -hmm. evade the amalgam, you can get out. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. That's the plan. Yeah. All right. I'm punching this lurking deep one. I mean, the good thing is this map is really big, so you can run circles around hunter enemies. Mm -hmm. Minus one, you got him. Nice. That's good. I did. I'm gonna. You did it. Try to invade this guy. It's important. I'm gonna commit Silas's net. Oh no. It's a good. It's a good. Idea. Well, I'll pull it back if I don't need it. Oh, that's fair. So six to two. Uh huh. I did need it. Ooh, Minus okay. three. All right. All right. Uh, so he is evaded. Bloop. Then <laughs> so Joe says, they do these streams to make us feel better about how our games go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go... Is that guy a hunter? No. He's not a hunter. So if you go yeah. next to him, unless you pull a deep one assault. We're not going to do that. Where do you want to put this? Underwater cavern. Uh, is, is that down. the last one? Okay. Yeah. Underwater cavern. After it's revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Okay. That's okay. I just need to get out of it. By my next turn. Yeah. And three clues on it. Uh, Low shroud, though. Oh, and it's got that, that sweet, sweet action. Mm hmm. Move to any other underwater Move to cavern. Any underwater. Or any any flooded, is that what it says? Uh, yeah. yeah, flooded cave location. Which is all of them. Yep. It's pretty cool. Yes. All right, that's three actions. Uh, lone wolf. First action draw. Where's your 45 Thompson? Second action draw. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wish I had some combat or agility icons in hand. <laughs> and then I'll just play a holy rosary. Mm -hmm. At the very least, yeah, that'll soak some horror. And that's it. You don't have leather jackets, do you? No. Ah. Probably should have. Okay, uh, that's everyone. So uh, the amalgam gets up, mm -hmm. everybody gets a card and a resource, everything Ooh. pays. I'm dual wielding ciphers, like a true code breaker. <laughs> <laughs> Four, five, 
agents. All right, and then I draw the shadow agents, like you do. Um, so they're engaged with me. Uh, I cannot discover clues except by investigating. If they're evaded, they get discarded. Oh, man. Actually, though, no, this is fine. Because mm -hmm. I can take the attack of opportunity, two damage, use the cryptographic cipher to investigate, and if I succeed, then I can evade them and they'll go away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, could be, could be worse. Everything is fine. Uh, no, so I was actually worse. reacting to oh. uh, what Wigan at Gaming said in the chat. We streamed this last Saturday and got crushed. Then the power went out and my house flooded <laughs> in real life. It could have gone better. <laughs> wow. I claim no responsibility for that. <laughs> All right, are we good to doom? Yep. Almost worked. Bad cards. Riptide. It is not unflooded, so I must test agility four because it's fully flooded. Ooh. If I fail, I have to choose and discard an asset you control. Oh, right. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Do I have any losing? Uh, no, I don't have any. Cool skills. Do you want to use drawing thin one last time before it goes away? Uh, probably. <laughs> and just let it go away. Get a card off that. Oh yeah, that was a good card. All right, nice. And it's gone. Yep. What does that do? Uh, minus two. If damage. you fail, uh, and your location is flooded, take one yep. damage. Yeah. Super flooded. Whew. How hurt are you? Pretty hurt. I'm. One damage. You have one, you have one health left. Yeah, it's fine. Well, so. okay. Don't try any cultist tokens. Nope. Ever again. Nope. I will not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find this exit. I don't think we've seen this yet. Blind sense. What's up? We seen that one yet? Not okay. yet. No. So test agility three. If you fail and the amalgam is in play, which it is, it readies, moves directly to your location, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. Gonna fail this one. Oh boy. It's not good. Hey, at least you don't have to move out of your location then to, hey, to fight it. <laughs> some bless tokens in here, so maybe not. There are some bless tokens. There's actually quite a few. There's four. And a plus one and elder sign, so. So close. Mm, almost. All right. So he moves to you and does one and one. Better him than us. <laughs> That's true. I would die, so yeah. Horror. Then you can actually fight it. Okay, um, who wants to go first? Oh, that's right. You always forget. I know. Gotta watch this always guy. Do. Oops. <laughs> uh, memory of Oblivion. It's a will four or an intellect four test. Um, well, my intellect's four, so here we go. Just gonna go for it. Go for it. Go for <laughs> it. <laughs> I fail. Um, for each point you fail by, choose and discard a card from your hand. I uh, choose and discard two cards from my hand. That's my hand. Discarded. Jeremy's the least favorite card. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Jeremy's like, eh, could be worse. Could be, yeah. Mm. Okay, who wants to go first? Hmm. Do you want to go first since you're in a boss fight? Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> um. my turn's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to try to get rid of these guys and then investigate a bunch. In fact, since I already know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna go. Go for it. Okay. Um, I could do this fast with a shout of three, but that's kind of ballsy. Um, so instead I'm gonna do it, spending an action, take the attack of opportunity for two damage. Just give me a three, please. And investigate with minus two shroud. It is a two shroud location, which means uh, I'm almost guaranteed to succeed. <laughs> Way to use up our plus tokens. Yeah, it's oh, that's yep. I got it. Yep. Okay, good. Worth it. Uh, so these guys are automatically evaded because I trigger my ability. I get a clue, um, and I can pickpocket. So I now have a card in my hand. <laughs> now I'll investigate again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I succeed. Four to two. Whew. Thank goodness. And now that I have the last uh, clue. I can trigger that ability, mm -hmm. I have the red key, so give me the campaign guide and I get to read flashback three. There you are. Yay, okay. What's going on? Oh, what was the red key? Oh, oh I've, got, I've got the guide got now. Hook. So the red key was a piece of amber in the shape of a fish's heart that whispers something alien to you when you hold it. Whoa. Cool. It's, uh, it's and it fits into this fish skeleton. This actual fish. Yeah, oh. yeah like you do. All right. Hey, it's look very, at this. Uh, very dishonored. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, look at this. Your employer shoves a strange figurine into your hands. It is hewn of emerald stone and looks vaguely aquatic with two unblinking eyes and a row of sharp teeth. A piece of heart-shaped amber is embedded in its center. What do you make of it? You reply that you've seen nothing quite like it before, but it does happen to match the descriptions you've heard of the devils that skulk about the reefs a couple of miles beyond the harbor. Something fishy is going on here, if you'll pardon my saying, the man mutters, folding his arms across his chest. I'm glad I roped you in on this case. It's looking less and less like mob work with each passing hour. You nod in agreement and hand the strange figurine back to the agent. Everything about this town feels foul to you. Let's stick together from here on out, your companion says, his voice darkening. In your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, we record a decision to stick together, mm. which might come in handy later. Mm -hmm. And we get to remove a tablet token from the camp from the cast bag for the rest of the whole campaign. Oh snap! Boom! Get it out Gone. of here. Worth it. <laughs> All right. That's it. All right. Worth it. Now's your turn. Uh, no, I still have uh, one more action because okay. all I did was investigate three times. Yeah. So. Want to go down? Yeah, I think I do want to go down. Yeah. Going down. <laughs> going down, down in a lily or raw. Uh, tidal pool, it's got the remaining face down key, mm -hmm. and it's going to be uh, partially flooded because of the, mm -hmm. you know, everything is. And that's it. There's no more tidal tunnels to play. Cool. That was good. That was a good turn. All right. I'm just going to do some stuff quick. I'm going to. I apologize for scooting around so much. I'm going to play a grizzly <clears throat> totem. Oh, nice. I was wondering if yes. you had that. Yes, I did. Uh, I'm going to play, I need another weapon. I'm going to play a fire axe. Very nice. And then the final action, I'm going to get out of here. Look at you playing assets. Swim, 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 swim. Wait, where are you going? Oh, that's right. You can move. You can, you can yeah. swim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, God, it's Silas. Just like in, <laughs> just like in uh, Aliens, I'm yeah. coming up behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. All right. Get a lone wolf resource, so I'll try shriveling the... Mulligan. Mm hmm. Shrivel that boy. We need like one of those long, like, arm things that you can grab stuff Claws and just, like, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Minus two. Okay. That's a hit, right? Yep. Nice. Let's do the last Take one. Take him out. Yeah, you might as well. To the depths with you. Minus yeah. two, you got him. Sweet. Take a horror, though. Yes. To the depths. And then, um, I should probably start using my liquid courage here. Mm. Might as well. So I think this is going to be going off. I probably will have to have two horror, and then, well, I guess I got eight. I can wait. Let's go ahead and move across, so this will trigger. Okay. I've denied existence. Oh, so you're gonna yeah. try to remove it first? Uh, we'll try to go forest. So, so the, isn't the discard only if you're gonna t attempt the test to get rid of it? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that though. Oh, you're sure. denying, I'm denying. sorry. I thought, you were deny. spend, I thought you were discarding the deny existence to do the test. So deny the damage. Yep, very nice. And uh, uh, so you uh, moved into an underwater cavern the bad news is it's fully flooded. The good news is it's only two shroud, and it has the that same teleport effect that you can swim to any flooded location. And you're not at risk of drowning because you started in a partially flooded. So. And that's it. All right. Very nice. That was a good turn all around. All right. Um, everybody gets a card and a resource. Actually, actually, I lied. Let me oh. get rid of this since I don't need any more. Oh, sure. He's back. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm David. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you may have forgotten me. I have a feeling that David's going to be riptide fodder. Or uh, undertow fodder. <laughs> okay. Um, everybody gets a card and a resource. Everything mm -hmm. ready is. That deep one does nothing because he's not a hunter. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Doom. Doom. And we each get a card. Now I have an undertow. And well, that's fine for you. You're 4-4. Yeah. Four, four. Yes. I'm okay. With a million cards in hand. <laughs> yes. Blind sense again. Well, he's a, he's not in play. So what will happen if if you fail? 
Uh, if it's an adept spoil into play engage with me, okay. it makes an immediate attack. Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. There's a solid five cards that bring him back out. Yeah. So in three or four player games, he's gonna come out pretty often. I'm out of batteries, I can no longer read chat. Oh uh, very sad. Right. Sorry, plus chat. token. Minus two. Oh. He's back. And my yeah. location is flooded, take mm -hmm. one damage. Oh, that's not good. Are not you dead? Good at all. Mm, David, can, uh, David can soak it. Okay. That's true. I'm just throw him on mm -hmm. right since he's gonna also attack me. Yep. Goodbye, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let him around for one. <laughs> okay. Once more. I'll let him live. All right. <laughs> what do I get? Fractured consciousness. I will actually just take this. So it's a willpower, or sorry, it's an intellect three test. If I reveal a tablet, which we just got rid of one, mm -hmm. uh, we automatically fail. So give me the bag, please. And it's damaged if I fail, so it's not. Wait, that was a test at first. I, I didn't remember. Test, oh, the I blind sense? No, I did this right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you failed it. Oh, this. Yeah. Here we go. Nice, I'm good. Nothing happens. All Ooh. right. All right. Huh. So. What do we do? We still need to find the exit. It's one of these. F no, it yep. can't be that one, right? Oh no, it could be that one. It could be that. One. So it's mm -hmm. one of these four. Yeah. Um, well, I can. I, mean, I can just roam around. Do we care about this last key, or do we just want to get out? I think we need to get out, or we're gonna die. I, yeah, I kind of agree with start. you. We're getting roughed up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I've got one damage left. You got one horror left. Do you need help? Jeremy has. Yeah. One damage left. I'm gonna drop if I don't get out of this location. I can't really. You so, kill yeah, so all I can do, I could help you. It'll take my whole turn, though, because I'll have to move, 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 and then it, grab a clue and evade him. That's all I can do. But that is a thing I can do. I think, I mean, I can't even get to him, so I think Yeah, that's probably... so I think that's, like, the only play then. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I move. Oh, one, two, three. Um, and I will... Investigate since this is, I moved all the way here to do this, so I'm just gonna use the cipher to pretty much guarantee it. Minus two shroud, and I did in fact succeed. Mm -hmm. So I get a clue, and I automatically evade your enemy. Nice, thank you. And you can just go. I can stay here because he's only two evade. I can tank it. Awesome. So just just run, <laughs> especially since you're drowning now. Uh, you so that's it for me. Go? Oh, I get pickpocketing. Pickpocketing sure. is doing work. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've drawn like eight cards from it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> I'll probably try to do it. Oh, yes, please do. Either. Yeah, at least once. I have one sanity left. All right, let's, let's go explore. I mean, I'll probably fail the willpower test, but that's okay. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, I found an altar to Dagon. Oh, good. We need that. Uh, if we control the blue key or three or more other keys, we may spend six clues as a group to take the green key. Okay. There are no clues there. It's partially flooded. So the blue key or three other keys. I have got two other keys and there's one right there. Yep. So we could just go for the three other keys Probably. rather than go find the blue key. Yeah. That might be better. Yeah. Unless it happens to be like here. I'm going to move up here. Why didn't I? I should have gone through there on my way over, just to mm, see what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's too late now, but... Oh well. Oh, I found so a bone-ridden pit. Oh good, what's there? Yeah, it's nothing. What? <laughs> what? No, read it. <laughs> Give me yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's nothing? Uh, for each key controlled by an investigator at the bone-ridden pit, it gets minus one shroud, and it starts at a whopping six shroud. Mm -hmm. um, and as a free triggered ability, if there's no clues on it, and you control the yellow key, you can trigger a flashback, which I have. So it might be worthwhile to run and do that, but we're a little pressed for time. Also, Six Shroud is kind no. of a monster. That's no joke. Mm -hmm. um, third action. But if you get all five keys, it's only one shroud. Mm. Um, hmm. Guess I can. I have so much money. And so many cards. Yeah, you, you need Scrapper. I do. There's the level zero Scrapper that's in Stella's deck. Yeah. I do need that. Um, 
Hmm. One, two, three, four. Uh, I will play a cherished keepsake. Mm, nice. Got my teddy bear with me. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Protison. Yep. Do you have to commit to this if I do <laughs> no. that? No. Well, I have a one, but it's a deep knowledge. It's probably better used to actually draw cards. Because yes. uh, it would only bring me to three anyway. What's the difficulty, two? Two. Yeah, it could give you a one. Mm. Do you think it's worth it? Two cards to heal one additional horror? I guess I'm going to lose a card if I fail anyway. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Uh, yes, the teddy bear is completely waterlogged. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> poor, poor Mr. Potterson. Not, not a good day for it. All right, so I'm doing the, the test, right? Yep. Okay, here got, we go. Got like four to two. on him. <laughs> Ooh, Elder Sign. Oh! Uh, it's not an investigation, so I don't get any bonus. But uh, I still succeed. I heal two horror. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was worth it. Thanks for saving an amalgam. Uh, I could use a... An action ability to yeah, you might as well go down there and have yeah, get some divination, game. right? Or uh, not divination, clairvoyance, whatever it's called. Yep. <laughs> so then, yeah, last action. Um, get maybe. some clues. There you go. One doom on there. That's probably fine, right? Sure. Yeah. You mean I will? As long power. as you have a way of getting rid of them, which you do, because you're Dexter. Don't need money, but I want the extra willpower. So five, six, seven. Oh, or, yeah, never mind. Let me first do my weakness. Oh, okay. Round, Get rid of so that. Let me yeah. at least play that to make it. Yep. So you're one six, less. not seven. Nice. So that's two clues. Yep. Here you go. Ugh. Nice. And that's it. Oh, okay. Somebody else got clues this game. Look at that. <laughs> I'm Trish. I'm gonna say somebody else finally got clues. Oh, oh, you, oh. Not just Trish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was wondering if that clear voice would do anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody ready? Yep. The amalgam gets up and engages me. Resource and a card. Everyone gets a resource and a card. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Oh, very nice. That's good. Okay. We got a doom. Mm-hmm. Oh, I found a lurking deep oh, one. Oh, good. I'm dead. Are you really? <laughs> yes. Cool. Oh, I, I also forgot to deal with this undertow, but... I guess you're dead either That's way. fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead well, anyways. Goodbye, Silas. Blub, it was blub, nice blub, to know blub, you. Blub, blub. Uh, <laughs> and you're not actually dead. You're defeated. I'm dead. You, you I take a physical trauma. You've got nine. You think we're going to continue fine. this campaign? You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sleeping. <laughs> He's just sleeping. He's just sleeping. Face Goodbye. down in that puddle. Yeah. Rising tide. Oh, so good. <laughs> and deep one assault. There's a lot more resources. Um, also. Okay. This is actually the one instance deep one assault is not a bad draw. The I'm only good. deep one that can engage me is the amalgam, and it's the only one that doesn't. Oh, that's not true. He does have a forced effect. I drop a key. Oh no! He disengages and engages me, and I drop a key. He Rip. stole my keys. But if I evade him by two or more, I take control of one key. Mm. So I could conceivably get these back, but not, not immediately. Okay, the second time I could have him attack me instead. It would bring my sanity pretty low, but then I could get this key back when I evade him and then leave. You're gonna fail. No, 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 no. no. I'm siding with no. the deep ones now. I'm good at this game, okay? I know what I'm doing. That's I'm what happened to Silas. He, he, d he decided Ooh. to embrace or his heritage. alternatively... No, I'm not gonna do that to you. I was gonna say I could pass this to you, and then you'd have to go get a deep one, but that's really bad. You don't have a, you don't have a shriveling or anything in play. Okay. No, this is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Fine, yeah. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going first? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try to evade the amalgam. I'm four to two, and I want to succeed by at least two. Um, so I'm going to commit quick thinking, and I'm going to commit you handle this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm over by four. Minus two. I succeed by two. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Good at games. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the joke is I'm notoriously bad at this. All right. 
Um, so I get an extra action from Quick Thinking. Mm -hmm. So that was action one out of uh, five now. And I get this key back. And I get to pickpocket. Whew. Okay. Um, so here's the bad news. I have to enter a partially flooded location or I drown. Mm -hmm. And if I teleport to the tidal pool, it's not partially flooded. You just go down. So are you content with grabbing that key? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Then I'll meet you in the altar. Because we need to be there together with the three keys. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move to the altar. But wait, then what do I do for the rest of my turn? Um, hmm. Well, at least see what that is. I guess we do need I guess to know. I could use action to go somewhere else. Well, I can't do the action to go here. Right. So I'll just move down. It is the idle chamber. Mm. After it's revealed, place the blue key on it. All right, well, it's kind of late now, but... <laughs> Uh, if there are no clues on idle chamber and you control the purple key, the purple key opens the stone door at the end of the hall and blah, blah, blah. There's a flashback. So that's the purple key. We know that. Mm -hmm. um, there's three clues on it. Yep. Three, three horrific clues. Uh, are we like running out of clues? Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's partially flooded. Perfect. Hmm. I still have... Three actions left. I could try to get the blue key. I mean... You could also just move to the altar. I know. But at least I'm not drowning anymore. That's true. But yeah, I guess I should just spend the rest of my actions moving. But instead of going move, 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 uh -huh. I'm going to go move, move. <laughs> and, then I'll, uh, and then I'll draw a card. Great. We did it. Take it away. Wow, is that this? That's gonna be the exit all the way over there. Yeah. The last. <laughs> cool. Uh, so it's shroud five now. It is indeed shroud five. Yes, but you're seven, will right? Six. Yeah, right now. If you get rid of it, called scraps, you'll be seven. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you're haunted. I guess yeah. Never mind. I'm haunted as well. Oh, so for wow. one only, it's. Oof. I could do that first. Use my ability to get rid of that. Well, then I have to move, because otherwise I'll drown, so. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, maybe, you want to get it next round? That's <laughs> if I had known <laughs> that it was going to be trouble for you, I would have just went yeah, there. Yeah, I guess I forgot I got my haunted as well, yeah. so it's... Well, why don't you attempt it, and if, uh, if, it, if you fail, just leave. Right. Can you get rid of the occult scraps right now? Do you have another asset to play? I guess I could commit some icons to it. It's, I've drawn to the flame, but mm. that's too risky. It's a little risky, because if you get the, the blind sensor from the depths, he's going to come back again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just play uh, clairvoyance for three. Another clairvoyance. I'll just get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's, that's a good play. And then... So you're at six? Negative five, six, minus one. Oh, okay, so you're at five. Five to five. Mm -hmm. Oh, six. Yeah, you're at six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Math. Commit one. If you're two up, that's I, pretty good. I have double draw to flames. I could just do both. Or I mean, minus three is this is like the last thing we need, right? Skulls, minus three. Mm -hmm. Two of those, two tablets. I think this is the last clue we need. So I would just go for Doing it. Both, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. The moment of truth. That's how you Let's do it. On, Here's the clue, and I assume you want the key? Yep. All right, got the purple key and the clue. Here you go. Well, we move. The purple I wish key. I was at your location, I could crack the case, but. You found a okay. jagged key of twisted marble and onyx. Mm, which opens this door. Now, if we're really, if we want to really push it, we can go <laughs> try to get all these flashbacks, but we're, it's, we're definitely pushing it. Um, do you have an action left to grab the... Um... Yes. Okay, so let's do so. it. So we spend uh, six clues, which mm -hmm. we clearly got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you want me to spend mine? Doesn't really matter, I don't have. Probably not. Okay. 
Um, and we get the green key. Ta-da! Uh, you're the one who triggered it, so you get it. Green key. What is an emerald key with four prongs? Oh, I wonder where the exit could be hiding. Yeah, where could it be? <laughs> is that it? Yep. Okay, that's it. Um, enemies, none of them do anything. They all get up. Mm -hmm. And card and resource. I was going to use David first. I like her matter. Nice. Okay. Uh, Doom? Any, any hunter out there? Uh, just this guy, but he, he was exhausted, so he just got up. Got the bowl. Uh, oh deep one bill. I can, uh, oh no, there's no clues at our location, so I can't actually auto evade him. Um, okay, this is not good. I got a macabre memento, and I don't have any, um, you handle this ones. <laughs> so it won't kill me, it will kill Leo though. Um, I wish we would have swapped those reviews. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Perfect. You don't have any willpower icons, right? You just committed them all. Alright. Alright, well. Here we go! Come on, Elder Sign! No, that's a minus three. Or a minus two. Minus two. Uh, yep, I fail. And I take two horror. Uh, one of which will have to go on Leo. Mm -hmm. Which means he is toast for now. He, he crazy. He, he just runs off. He has a bout of madness and he runs off. Uh, okay. Could be worse. Yeah. The bad news is there's lurking deep ones, like, directly in our way. And the only... Ways to get around them are like all the way up here. So I think one of us is going to have to forge a path or something. Um, and then hmm. deal damage when you engage. Yeah, which isn't you the could worst. Take that. I could take the damage. But there are there are four evade. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty gnarly. Um, it's not great. What do we want to do? How do we want to do this? You will engage him and evade him? Hmm. I could. Or I could shortcut you into one of those other two locations where there's an enemy, preferably the one with clues. Then I move over, try to get a clue, and automatically evade one of those two enemies, and you kill the other one. Or something like that. I don't know. You don't have any weapons out. Hmm. But I still think that that's probably our best bet. Because I've got cryptographic cipher and deduction. None of them will be engaged with me. You would have to take a damage from that guy, which is bad. Kill David. Would kill David, which you kind of want to kill anyway, right? Eventually. Well, I'd really not be one away from dying myself then. Mm. But we're going to have to go that way anyway, right? Hmm. I would be investigating... At a, is it minus one shroud for each key controlled by an investigator? It would be really low shroud if I did that. It, there would be almost guaranteed success on my investigation. But then I'm stuck with him. Well, I could evade either one of the two. Um, I, st I don't have Leo anymore, so I can't do. I move, investigate. Yeah. Hmm. I could trigger the flashback if I do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's more important? The flashback is important. Is there um, any is there any chance of you evading that guy or no? I mean, you're I guess you're one to two. One. Arf, that's bad. Hmm, this is harsh. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, do you want me to initiate that plan, or do you want me to just uh, take that guy in a bit? We've got hmm. four rounds if David dies. Yeah, do you just want to try go to all the way around? Him? Okay, all right, we we'll go the safe way. That's fine. We could let him move down there if we right. stay mm -hmm. in there, and then derp. So I'll go first. I'll yeah. engage the deep one bull. Uh, I have to choose and discard a card from my hand. In order to do that, I will choose and discard... Ooh, I guess we don't need resources anymore. I'll discard to crack the case. And now I will evade four to two. Uh, got him. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. So he's evaded. 
And I get to draw a card from my pickpocket. Ooh, that changes everything. I just drew a working hunch. Now we definitely could go that way. Because I could just move in, grab a clue, and evade him. Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So for my third and last action, I move into there. That guy engages me and deals me a damage. And then I'm going to play working a hunch at fast speed to automatically get a clue and evade him. And now you can just, uh, yeah, Move you can, you can just do whatever you want. Um, in fact, I can also shortcut past him, and you can just catch up to me. Thanks yeah? Well, okay, yeah, I'm going to shortcut move up to the underwater cavern. And you can just, yep. Or, <laughs> or I stay there, investigate, and trigger the flashback. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can do it. You want to go for it? Yeah. Oh, God. All right. I stay there. I stay there like a like a foolish person who's about to die. How many deep one assaults are in the discard pile? That's a good question. I think there's one. Um, Just one? One. So uh -oh. there's another one in the... In the <laughs> Uh-oh. So if you draw that. If I draw that, then I'm dead. <laughs> Unless you're there. Unless you stay there with me. <laughs> you have to join my crazy plan. Because yeah. if you stay there, then he's engaging you because you're his prey. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Oh, <laughs> uh, so you're staying there? I don't know. This what, do you, what do you want me to do? This Chat. Is, this is you, Matt. Oh, Chat. Go, yeah. What do you want me to do? This is Matt like walking towards the cliff and he's like, save me, Jeremy. You yeah, gotta yeah, save yeah. me. Yeah. You, so, got, you have to save me. <laughs> uh, plan A is we run. Like, real fast. Uh, the safe option. Plan B is the risky option of me staying and trying to get the flashback uh, and risking horrible death. Mm. Uh, type your answer in chat now. <laughs> It'll be like 30 seconds yeah. before Dial we, three before if, uh, if you want Trish to <laughs> like run in a circle. Um, <laughs> is everyone just like... Yeah, they're saying stay and, and go for it. There you go. Well, you heard, you heard them. You can't blame me. Now, you don't have to stay. You can go if you want. Staying will no. increase the odds that I succeed. But you're, you're the one with the green key, so... Do you handle it if you draw it? If I draw a deep on assault? Yeah. I can take one damage, I just can't take two. When that guy gets up, he's gonna go after you. So if I draw a deep on assault, he'll disengage from you and engage me, and I'll take a damage. Could be worse. All right, so we good? Uh, well, it's oh, that's my first action. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you might as well, the shout of this place is only two right now. You might as well try to clairvoyance, right? I'll take a whore if I draw oh. a good token. Okay, so a good token? There's so many bad tokens in there, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. You don't have to. I can mm -hmm. I can deduce next turn. What's that? Two shroud? It's two. It's minus one shroud for each clue we possess, and we possess key, four. Right. Or sorry, yes, key. Um, mm -hmm. So it's minus four. So it's two. Uh, yeah, I can do. One of them. Yeah. If you take a heart, you can put it on the rosary. That's yep. true. You also have that. <gasps> so you're at six to two. You got uh, it. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Two clues. Nice. And we can actually trigger that flashback right now. Yeah, might as well. All right. Let me read what it actually says. I think I blah 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 it earlier. <laughs> you notice an odd joint socket near the skeleton's midsection that matches the shape of the yellow key, which, if you remember, is the calcified piece of chitin. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to read? Or do you want to read it since you're the one who yeah, took it? Yeah, I can go Okay. An old fishing vessel rocks side to side beneath your feet, assaulted by tempestuous waters and the tentacles of some enormous creature looming just beneath the waves. Somebody kill that damn thing, the ship's captain shouts. 
A loud crash erupts across the vessel, and the hull howls in protest as a vast tentacle encircles it and draws tight. It's got us in its grip. It ain't going nowhere. Now's your chance, the grizzled old captain yells. With fire in your eyes, you raise your weapon and swing. You return to the present, a sickness churning in your stomach. The skeletal remains of the creature stare back at you. What on earth was that thing? In your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record a battle with a horrifying devil. Remove one cultist token from the chaos bag for the rest of the campaign. Did it. Oh, I should have waited. What? I have one more action. I still have two war protections in my deck, so... You also have a weakness. No, I went through both of them. Oh, you went through both of them? Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. The Haunted is still in play. So I'll draw. Okay. Let the record reflect that he could have cured my sanity, but... <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Enemy Fine. phase. Uh, this guy's going to hunt, and uh, it's pretty much equidistant which way he goes, so we'll say this way. Mm -hmm. um, everything ready is... That guy readies, and he goes after you, because you have the lowest agility, and you take eight damage. Goodbye, David. Goodbye, David. Goodbye, David. We knew you too well. <laughs> <laughs> and I get a resource. Okay, let's do it. Doom. Bad card for you. We're going to make it out. We're going to make it out. Some of us didn't make it out. <laughs> well, whose fault is that? <laughs> Mine. Oh, is the amalgam here? Uh, the amalgam is in the depths, or otherwise place the amalgam in the depths. Oh, he goes into the depths, that's right. Surge. Yep. I forgot how cool that is! Uh, he just sinks into the... Technically your turn. Uh, right. Yes, that's true. Well, have some rats. <laughs> oh, some more rats! <laughs> rats everywhere! I mean... They, they know the worse. place is going down. Worse. It could yeah. be way worse, yeah, yeah. they're rats. Um, yeah, let's just... Let's just go. Alright. Uh, yeah, do... Mm. I guess I got, got rid of the clues now, so you can't yeah, do that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, I can if I shortcut you up and then move up to catch up to you. Yeah, it's... Let me deal with this guy one. first. Um, it's, it's equal for me to... It's equal difficulty between evading and, and combat. And if I evade it, I get the pickpocket effect. But I'm, I'm going to get the pickpocket effect later when I do that, so I'll just punch it. Um, I've got nothing to add to it anyway. Wait a second. No. No, that's... Okay, yeah, yeah. Punch it. Punch it! Punch those rats. Punch it! Right in their red faces. Here we go! Uh, I succeed. No. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be evading it. God, but I don't, don't want to use this on that. That's terrible. Um, can we lose to rats? You can't lose to rats. <laughs> That's embarrassing. All right, I'm gonna evade it, and I'm gonna commit this 25 auto. Uh, okay, minus two. I succeed. That's good. He's evaded. Mm -hmm. I'll use the pickpocket now. Oh, I could have used that 17 million turns ago. Um, with my final action. Oh, first I'll shortcut you up. With my final action, I'll move up. And then I'll play Working a Hunch, and I'll use my ability to uh, automatically evade your enemy. Uh, and that is it for me. Um, the bad news is, when that guy gets up, if I'm still here, I'm, I'm toast. I have 7 out of 8 health. Is there any chance that you can kill it? Or did I just spell uh, my own doom? There's, there's a chance I could. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance good. that anything can happen, really, when you Not think good. about it. I'm, I'm even right now. Just okay. leave. Just leave. <laughs> it's I have a green key, so... Yeah. Well, it, do you abandon me to horrible death, or do you try to save me, knowing that there's another deep one assault in the deck? Better that one survives right than that everyone goes down. What does Jeff think? Oh, no! <laughs> Should Matt Newman be okay. left to die? Plan vote now. A. Yeah, vote now. <laughs> vote now. A, if you'd like for Dexter to abandon Trish to a fishy fate, or B, if you'd like for Dexter to take a valiant stand, a righteous stand, and save Wrong. his companion. Righteous. <laughs> yeah, righteous. It's, yeah. Good. it's a good thing. Mm. Saving people is good. <laughs> Please help. All right. Oh. 
There's, there's some division. Oh. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they're not like, let him die. Your vote counts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's it's been solidly pushed over to uh, to you should leave him to die. Okay, leave me to die. <laughs> well, I do this rats. So I mean, you still got to deal with yeah. Got to deal with that first. <laughs> Plan this C: is, yeah. die to rats. <laughs> <laughs> it's still possible. Because yeah, I'm only up by one, which is haunted. So. Wow. Yeah, that's these rats. Unbelievable. <laughs> we'll get ya. We'll get ya every time. You need to throw in some cold vest pockets that you can just go. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sound of pulling out a gun. I don't know if you yeah. hear that. <laughs> 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 you can tell that Matt has a lot of experience <laughs> yeah, with true. pulling out guns. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by one, you got nothing. So. No, I don't have anything. <laughs> I've got a will and an intellect. Oh, hey. cool. wow. okay. plus one. You did it. Woo. First time we're getting this in. I pulled it once or twice. I pulled it when I like overcommitted by a bunch. Squashing the rats. All right, so should we do what chat says and just. It's up to you. If you stay, we'll be okay unless we pull a deep one assault. Or Odds from the are depths. Pretty good. Yeah. Six cards. Six cards and one of them is deep one assault and one So thirty three percent chance. Unless there's more there's, surge. There's one more from the depths in there too, which will cause the amalgam to pop out. And attack so, right away. And attack right away. That would kill either one of them. No, he just puts him to play engage with you. Hmm. Is there another blind sense? Yes. No, there's no more blind signs. Okay. So there's, there's two cards two out of six. Two bad cards out of really six bad. and two draws. That's like 50%-ish. Yeah, and there's no more actual lurking deep ones. And there's no more young deep ones. And there's no more rats. So, like, the rest of it is just treacheries. So it's like a 33% chance that you get the card that will be bad. That's each of us. It's One of us gets right. it, that's probably games, and that person will die, and all the rest of the deep ones we sit in there for other person to deal with. That's true. So, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Not the exit. What? We already triggered the flashbacks. So, if I don't make it out, it's not the end of the world. I just, I'll just take a, a physical trauma. Which is, I'm, I'm at 8 health, so it's actually not that bad. Yeah. If we were playing in campaign mode, I'd accept that. Just, like, just, just keep telling just yourself go. that. I'm just, serious! Just, <laughs> you're like, you're right where I died. I'm like floating I'm next like, to you. Yeah, so. I'm like, uh, I'm like John Oliver's character in that one episode of Rick and Morty where he's like, Go! I'll hold them off! And then he's like, No, wait! I could have gotten on board with you! <laughs> I'm not okay with this! <laughs> Alright, that's it? Yep. Okay. Um, you don't have any more actions with which to actually resign? Okay, then let's, He's gonna let's, watch let's play this out. Yeah. <laughs> so the amalgam is fine. He gets back up and Whoop. automatically engages and I die. <laughs> Technically, the keys would drop on that location and they could be recoverable again, but we don't need them anymore. Then and uh, Cardinal resource. Yeah, get your, get your encounter card. It could be a from the depths that makes him enter play engage with you or something. Oh. Uh. Let me see if the next card would have... Jeremy gets out. We would have survived! <laughs> we would have made it out. Well, actually, this could have sure? killed me, too. Yeah, let's see what would have happened. Let's see, yeah, let's see oh. what would have happened. I would commit this. So, three to three. And then I... <laughs> and then die. So, I, I would have I I not you made it You were doomed from the doomed beginning. Anyway. Yep. No, oh, and then hypochondria. So doomed. Uh, do we want to read the resolution? Oh, yeah. Do yes. we want to leave that yeah, for... Yeah. No, okay, let's, let's, read let's, it. It. let's yeah. read it. Uh... Resolution one, is that what we get? Uh, uh, no, so oh, yeah, we resign, when so. they resign, advance. So this advances. Yep. The, the tunnel continues onward with no end in sight. Your lungs heave with pain. You've held your breath for far longer than you ever thought possible. For a moment, you wonder if you should turn back, but by now the entire cavern must be completely submerged. Mm -hmm. Even if it weren't, you couldn't hope to outlast the creatures that dwell inside for very long. Yep, that's true, yep. Um, no, there's no going back. Your only hope is to press forward. 
Another minute passes. The current seems to grow stronger as the tunnel narrows ahead. Your chest feels as though it's about to burst. Finally, you emerge from the ice-cold seawater and tumble out of the cavern, landing hard on a rocky shore. Resolution 1. In the distance, the sky is a dark crimson, and the full moon hangs just below the blackened sun. You are about to close your eyes and surrender to unconsciousness when a stranger's voice startles you back to your feet. Oh, you are alive? E even through her strained, vo strained voice, you can hear a rhythmic Indian accent and the unwavering confidence of a trained professional. Standing in front of you is a woman with long raven black hair. Her tattered trench coat has seen better days and bruises splash across her skin. You seem confused. Why are you looking at me like that? The stranger asks. Then we get experience. And we proceed to an interlude, which we, which we won't read. Yeah, we won't read that. No who, is, who is this mysterious stranger? And why do we not seem to remember her? But dun, next dun, time dun. on Arkham Horror, the Card Game. <laughs> He's the DBZ announcer voice. <laughs> exactly. So this was the first scenario of the Innsmouth Conspiracy. A uh, little bit little bit rocky in terms of survival. That was but, great. But, no, it, I, but that it was, was very fun. That was like the perfect... like. Level of like we made it out. One yeah. of us made it out. One of us made it the, out. The other two took trauma, but we still got a positive resolution. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was tense. It was fun. Classic Arkham. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was sweet. I'm Ooh. I'm excited now to play the rest of this campaign. I've been waiting before uh, before <laughs> we play this on stream. Uh, so thank you everyone for hanging out with us and for watching. Uh, this Insmith conspiracy is available now at your local retailer or online. You can get it in any of these places. Uh, and we are going to be coming back next week. We have a bunch of streams lined up for Essen. Uh, so we're going to be, we have a, a hot new, uh, very unexpected product line announcement to oh, share yeah, with that's everyone. That's really exciting. We're going to be doing I some more unboxing it. of the Prophecy of Kings expansion for nice. Twilight Imperium. We're going to be playing X Men Mutant Insurrection. Uh, so all that coming up next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, starting at 10 o'clock a.m. each day. So pretty cool stuff coming up uh, in conjunction with SN Online. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Please remember to subscribe, follow all our social media channels. Thanks to Carolina Game Tables for this table, and we'll catch you next time.